told Ted this, I was like, man, okay, this and seriously, Snoop, check this out. I'm not trying to give myself any fucking props or nothing. It's not even about that. But I just want you to know who you're dealing with. Now, Jim and Juice was your song. Mm -hmm. That was your song. And I wanted to respect it by sticking to the parts and not showing out and going fucking ape shit. So, now, Seven Days of Funk, you know, we have our fun. You know what I'm saying? You might as well get a bunch of key toys. <laughs> I'm going to get you a fake one so you can break it up. I'm not going to have you breaking these motherfuckers. Here, like, Here, I'm not going to have you breaking these motherfuckers key toys that you're making hit records with, man. Right, I Even Ozzy Osbourne had a fake baddie, bitch. God damn it. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> I, I, I just got to keep, keep it consistent, man. Yes, I can't make the funk, man. And then you show me that footage with the little boy breaking his shit. Oh, that was crazy. I'm, I'm like, like, damn, yeah. this is all it needed right here. He got the split screen. <laughs> they ain't breaking this shit. He got a little boy breaking his shit, too. Bah, it's bah. on Instagram. You guys can check oh, it out. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, they just really had a lot of fun with the performance, man. I think we had a good time. That shit was dope. It's dope, man. It's Jimmy kept wanting to be back on this show for so long with us to do some brand new shit. That was incredible, man. Awesome. That move was awesome. I really appreciated being involved, man. Because mm -hmm. you could have did anything. You know, yeah, but you involved the seven days of that shit. It was good luck to you. Girl, you got me feeling good. It ain't no other words to say. Ain't no other words to say. you hit him with one of them ugly souls. Hey, you know me, I'm, I'm international. I've been around the world and I, yeah, yeah. It's that Bob Barker mic right there. Come on down, you're the next contestant on the Price is Right. And the actual retail price is $1,084.45. You have a new car. Oh, this whispering and shit. They see me, she was here, they just put the video. Fuck, man. <laughs> That's like Rick James. I'm gonna tell y'all the story about Rick James before we get started. Rick James was doing an interview with the LA Times Magazine, right? And Rick partner was over, right? And Rick had some cocaine on the table. And his partner was like, Rick, the interviewer gonna be here in a minute. Put the cocaine up. And Rick said, man, fuck that. It's my motherfucking pad. I ain't putting shit up. The motherfucking interviewer came over, doing the interview with Rick James. Five minutes into the interview, he looks on the table and says, hey, Rick, do you mind? <laughs> and Rick looked at his partner and said, you motherfucker. I told you, nigga, let him do his shit. So let me do my shit. I'm the modern Rick James. Anyone you know, mind? <laughs> you mind? <laughs> mind? Now we can roll. produced or contrived project whatsoever just feels like something totally normal and natural so I just wonder if you could speak on that and how it came about. Um, it came about like you said just in, in a genuine way um, we were aware of each other's uh, you know get down and, you know of course we all you know aware of Snoop and, and the greatness that he's contributed to the music uh, uh, world and um, you know 
I just uh, watched him, you know, do great things musically and uh, and, and birth uh, even music genres such as G funk and with the architects like that style and, and, and doing so many things and, and, and just uh, seeing his uh, professionality and his success in the music business is just uh, inspiring for a lot of musicians of all genres. It doesn't have to be just funk or G funk or hip hop. Um, he's an inspiration to all uh, music genres and just the, the way that you can continue on and be still relevant. And um, that in itself really created a, a, a great um, feeling when we came together because um, to know that he's still untouched and untampered by uh, the pressures and the stresses of uh, the music business from a major level, um, mm -hmm. it's just such a great feeling to be able to make music with somebody that I feel is like a friend, you know what I mean? And just artistically uh, 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 connected. I don't know what to do cause you got me confused. Talking on the phone, get fuss and fight you about that life. I just wanna love you right, love you right. Girl, you got me fading away. Love a day. Make it hard to stay away. Girl, you got me fading away, baby. <laughs> oh, that's what I made. For specific, oh, you specifically, specifically made that one? Specifically. Right. I, I, sent, I made it in, in that night, and I sent it to you right after I finished. Okay, dude, my thing was the one That's one where I went and took it off another album. On the way? I heard that motherfucker. I was like, oh, man. You, you know that was just straight what? instrumental, too. Oh, most definitely. You do that all the time? Yep. Yeah, yeah, I've been doing it for years, man. You know, just, I'm glad you picked the right one. So. Oh, yeah. oh, come on, nigga. I can't pick the wrong one. You we only got right one. Thank you. How about that? <laughs> Can you compare these spirits? Can you say, like, what it is that he brings out? What what does Pharrell bring out? Or Quick or Dre? Um, well, the spirit, when I'm with Pharrell, is a spirit of my little homie is in the studio and I'm the big homie uh -huh. and he's coming to me for direction and guidance when I'm with Dr. Dre you know I'm the little homie um, you know basically following his direction but giving my input and being me at all times and leading or as well as assisting mm -hmm. when I'm with Dame Funk it's more of a sit back and be all that I can be over the music that's already been driven. So all I gotta do is put the paint on the car because it's already, you know, the body is there. from uh, Zach and Roger, the Gabon, Funkadelic is still modern and new. No, it's, it's, it never died. Their music was uh, timeless. Their music had an impact on so many people that, you know, the people started playing the music for their kids and their kids were us. And then we played it for our kids and now our kids is doing it and loving the funk. So it's just an extension and we love keeping the funk alive. Those people who made funk before us, we thankful for them because they gave us the spirit and the reason to make this kind of music. Just clap to this. and I'm more groomed and I'm able to have more control 
Not that I didn't have control over my first album, but more control over what I'm delivering. Like, I wanted to sing some of the hooks on my first album, but I didn't know how to sing. So we got musicians to come in and do, you know, parts and, and things for me. But on this record, I said, fuck it. I'm doing the singing, backgrounds, the lead. I'm, I'm going like if I was in the funk. If this was a funk record, and if it was me and Dave, it would just be relied upon me and him. He do all the music, I do the vocals, he do vocals from time to time. He give me lead vocals, I can follow him as well. I can be a background vocalist. Just anything to do with vocals, I wanted that to be my main goal on this, is to have more control over my, my melodic vocals and not just the rap. Because the rap is easy, that's what I'm known for. I want to do something that was an extension of what I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to put a one piece suit with the zipper, with that holy rod on the left side like Rick James and perform on stage with a guitar. Funk, me and Dane Funk, the record is in stores right about now. This is what we had to do. We wanted to do some real groovy shit, some shit that felt good. So hopefully you'll enjoy the record like we enjoy making the motherfucker. Hey, yo, peanut butter, give me one more. Let me hear some new shit on these niggas one time. Turn it, let me do my thing. Let me do my thing. Stay on the low and get it everywhere that we go. Let me do my thing. New gators on my feet, rolling up and down them streets. Let me do my thing. A bus of nuts, get it back just like Tabernacle. 